Hey there, it's Jack. I'm back with another video. Today I explained the differences between species faces so you can understand how to make them more distinguishable when drawing. Of course, you can draw them however you want, and some of these features are exaggerated for a more cartoony art style. I hope these tips help you though. I also just want to say before we start, this video is not a tutorial. I'm not going to be showing you how I draw these things, I'm just going to be explaining the differences and also showing you. So if you want to just watch along with me drawing it, that's what I'm going to be doing. If you want to learn how to draw, uh, I will link a video in the description that I did on how to draw canines. First we're going to start with a wolf. Wolves have a medium sized muzzle. They have short and more rounded ears, big noses, and squared cheek fur like this. They also have thick and fluffy necks. Second on our list is foxes. Foxes generally have slimmer but still long muzzles. They have tall pointed ears, small noses, pointed cheek fur, and fluffy necks. Now cats. Cats have short muzzles, which I usually draw in kind of like a circular shape whereas foxes and wolves are more like a rectangular shape. They have small noses, short pointed ears, rounded cheek fur, which is usually short but it can vary between breeds of course, and their necks are somewhat fluffy. They kind of usually have short fur around the neck, but it is very thick so it kind of looks fluffy. Now big cats, obviously there's many species of big cats, but generally these things kind of apply for lions and tigers and leopards and whatever. So big cats usually have short rectangular muzzles, but they're more so a vertical rectangle rather than a horizontal rectangle like you would draw for a wolf or a fox. They have small rounded ears, big noses, and cheek fur that points down. Lions usually have pretty short cheek fur, whereas like a tiger and like snow leopards would be longer. Their necks usually aren't fluffy unless it's a lion mane. Next, dogs. Like big cats, dogs have many different breeds, but generally they have medium sized blocky muzzles. Kind of similar to a wolf, but they're kind of more blocky. Their ears vary of course, um, but they're usually similar to a wolf or a fox. They have big noses and their cheek fur are usually short but it can vary with breeds just like a cat and their necks aren't very fluffy most of the time but also depends on breed. Next we have dragons. Dragons usually have longer muzzles and they're generally pretty slim. Depends really what kind of dragon you're drawing. And they usually have fangs and sharp points on their muzzles. Their ears vary but usually they're small and on the side of the head rather than on top of the head, and the eyes are further apart than, than you would draw on a dog or something. And now rats. Rats uh, are different because their faces and their muzzles aren't really separate, they are kind of like one big shape. They also have short rounded ears, very small noses, and long whiskers. They have short cheek fur, and their necks aren't very fluffy. Rabbits are similar to rats with their faces, their face and their muzzle aren't really separate, they just kind of are shorter than rats. They also have small noses and like that V shape. They have long ears, usually domestic rabbits, they're more rounded ears and wild rabbits are more pointed. They have very short cheek fur and their necks are kind of fluffy but they're kind of similar to cats in the fact that the, the fur isn't actually long, it's just that there's a lot of it, so it's kind of thick. Uh, next we have raccoons. Raccoons have short muzzles. Their ears are short and pointed. They have big noses, short whiskers, very fluffy necks, and pointed cheek fur. Kind of like a fox. And now otters. Otters have a big short muzzle. They're very wide. They have short round ears big noses, and there are different types of noses depending on what kind of otter it is. They have long whiskers, and their necks aren't very really fluffy, but they're thick. Okay, now bears. Bears have kind of blocky muzzles, and they're actually longer than you would expect them to be, kind of like a wolf. Their ears are round and short, but very fluffy. They have big noses, short cheek fur, which points downward, and fluffy necks. And now horses. 
horses snouts and their face are not separate similar to a rat i guess but they're very they have very very long snouts and they're generally pretty slim and they have big nostrils they also have short pointy ears and the shape of horses ears are kind of unique they're not really like a fox or a cat they're kind of more similar to how i would draw a dragon's ears honestly and they also have no cheek or neck fluff and now hyenas hyenas have short blocky muzzles they're not as short as a cat but they're kind of in between like a wolf and like a big cat maybe they also have big ears and the shape of hyenas ears are unique in the way that they're kind of straight on the inside and then they curve outwards and they're usually pretty large they also have big noses and short cheek fluff and thick fluffy necks second to last we have deer deer are similar to horses because their snout and their faces are not really separate but they're shorter than a horse and kind of more blocky i guess they have short cheek fluff their ears are similar to horses but they're very big they also have medium sized noses which connect to the mouth they aren't like wolf or fox noses they actually go all the way to the top of the mouth they also have no cheek fluff or neck fluff last but not least we have sharks sharks are kind of weird because the way that people usually draw their faces don't really look like an actual shark it's kind of like a human shark mix i guess unlike other furry species look pretty similar to what they look like in real life so i usually would draw them like this they're, they usually have kind of short-ish faces and they're very like sloped and they also have big teeth usually and they have long pointed ears often like this very unique ear shape as well but you can draw them however you want really because obviously sharks don't actually have ears so you can kind of just do whatever you want with it i usually see them drawn with small nostrils and usually they have gills on their necks so that was 15 different furry species and the differences between them hopefully this helped you draw them uh if you draw anything inspired by this video uh you can tweet at me my twitter is on screen I would love to see what you do. But anyway, uh, subscribe, like, share this video, whatever you want to do. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh my god.